fajita nachos are just like fajitas, but in nacho form. So I've been prepping the veggies. I've just got onions and two colors of bell pepper. I'll let those sit. I've got a big, beautiful beef flank steak, and it's been marinating. Bryce and I won't need the whole thing. The great thing is it stays really good in the fridge, so I can use it for all sorts of things later. Okay, this is a really hot grill, and it's gonna cook about four minutes aside. And while it does, I'll tell you what this delicious marinade is all about. I poured olive oil into the food processor, added lime juice, whole canned chipotle peppers with a little bit of the sauce, and a handful of cilantro. Gave it a quick blend, and the marinade was ready. I poured it over the flank steak, sealed the bag, smushed it around to make sure it was coated, and put it in the fridge for 24 hours. When it comes to fajitas, it does not get any tastier than this marinade. I've made it for years. Okay, I'm gonna turn this beautiful flank steak. Look at those grill marks. Okay, the flank steak needs to keep cooking, so I'll start cooking the veggies. I've got a separate skillet. I'll drizzle in some olive oil. I'm gonna throw in the onions and peppers. You can use green bell pepper, orange bell pepper. You can throw some poblanos or jalapenos into the mix. I wanna season up the veggies just a little bit, so I have a jar of taco seasoning ready to go. And salt and pepper. That's pretty much all the veggies need. I'm gonna keep things simple for Bryce and me. This steak is ready to come off the grill pan. It smells so good. That marinade has a little bit of spice to it, so it's gonna be just right for nachos. Now I've got chips. I like to use a little bit more of an authentic tortilla chip when I make nachos, just so they're nice and sturdy and hold together. Now I'm gonna put the veggies on first, and they're all done. They have some great color. Okay, that's a good amount of veggies. I've got two kinds of cheese, grated sharp cheddar and grated Monterey Jack. Truth be told, I could make nachos with just Jack cheese. It is the best cheese to use for nachos or quesadillas, anything where you want the cheese to be really melty and nice. I would have just a few more veggies on top, just so you see that gorgeous color. Okay, now to melt all this cheese, I'm gonna put the plate right into a 350 degree oven for just two or three minutes. I'm gonna put the steak on after the nachos come out of the oven. That way it won't lose its beautiful medium rareness. <laughs> oh yeah. Please be careful, sir. The platter is very hot. Here, grab some steak and help me put it on. Grab a handful. That looks good enough to eat. All right, let's put some toppings on. Sounds good. What do you like? Here's pico de gallo. I like all things that are good. <laughs> Here I go. Mmm. It's nice just to share nachos with two people. 